What is going on guys, it's SJ Sports and welcome your faces back to a brand new video. This is episode number 55 of our Youth Academy Regen Series with Cambridge United. We are in the Championship of course. If your first time is here on this channel, hit the subscribe button for me, turn on the notifications. We upload daily on this channel as well, so you will not miss a single video when it goes live. And also, if you missed any of the previous episodes, there's a playlist link in the description below for you guys to go ahead and catch up on. Now, episode 55 means one thing and one thing only, and I've just looked at the squad hub and the states of one particular player, so we're going to go through a squad report and we'll talk about that in just a little while. So, Cassidy is first on the list, then 73, gone up by one. Mitchell is a 67, gone up by one. Morello is a 67, gone up by one. Duffy is a 62, gone up by one. Linz is a 58, gone up by one. Uh, Iverson, 55, gone up by four already. No training on him this season yet. Uh, Antini, 61, gone up by one. Uh, Mitrev is a 66. Tremblay is also a 66. Teddy is a 75, gone up by one. Patrick Davis, 67, gone up by two. Perez is a 66, gone up by 1. Toby Turner is a 70, gone up by 2. Boynov is a 64. Triplo is a 54, gone up by 3. Greco is a 63. Uh, Yerkan or Gherkan is a 42, gone up by 2. Uh, Ian McDonald is a 45, gone up by 2. Callum Jackson, CJ, is a 61, gone up by 1. Archie White is a 72, gone up by 1. Aidan Bennett, 74, gone up by 1. Uh, Skovgard is a 63, gone up by 1. Svensson is a 55, gone up by 2. Uh, Naka is an 80, gone up by 1. Wouters is a 69, gone up by 1. And let's take a look at his finishing. 97 finishing. Memory is a 65, gone up by 2. Ferreria is a 69, gone up by 1. Cameron Morris is a 61, gone up by 1. Tom Graff is a 66, gone up by 2. Jerry O'Donnell, 56, gone up by 2. Aidan Carter, 69, gone up by 1. Frank Van Leven is a 70, gone up by 1. Barry Berry, 62, gone up by 2. Sam Hughes, 56, gone up by 3. Harrison Martin is a 69, gone up by 2. Ponce is a 75, gone up by 1. Peter Harris, 69, gone up by 1. And finally, Kors is a 68, gone up by 1. So, when I came to look at, to go onto the squad hub, just to have a quick browse through some of our players... This is an interesting one. Cassidy has been at the club since 2017. It's a little bit... It's a shame, is that, because Cassidy's done extremely well for us, especially in the three seasons. He's done okay in the Championship. But I feel now is a time when January transfer window comes, we're going to have a look at a new goalkeeper just to get that uh, good status. We do have goalkeepers in our youth academy, but the problem is they will be low rated. I could play Mitchell, who is loan list. Let's just remove him from the loan list. And he's also been in the club since 2017. Let's put him back on the loan list. So, I've got some goalkeepers on the uh, short list. This guy here is looking like Petr Cech's regen. He's a 76 overall. He plays for Wolverhampton Wanderers. He has 10 months left remaining on his contract. So, if we move quickly for him, we may be able to pick him up for a little bit cheaper than his value. This guy's a free agent. I don't expect anything decent from him. Koza, I've just kept there because he's an old player. Uh, Zappa Costa is a 71 goalkeeper that's playing in the Serie A. Uh, I think that might be actually Buffon's, but it's a low value. Does he have... I, can't actually, I hate that you not, can't see the status. This guy here uh, at Barcelona, German goalkeeper, 79, valued at 13 million. And probably won't go in for him. And there are our goalkeepers that are on the shortlist. But this guy here, in Nit Ryansky is one that we're going to keep a close eye on. So the first game of the episode, then, we are away at Reading. We've experimented with the squad. Only just a slight tweak, because I, I don't want to erupt anything just as yet, because things are going okay for us in the Championship. We have picked up three wins out of our last four games. We've gone with Cassidy in goal, Morello at right-back, Tremblay comes in at centre-back, Teddy alongside him and Davis on the left-back position, Naka and Toby Turner in the CDM role, Bennett White on the wings, Captain Wouters and Van Leuven up front. Let's go. Right, so Reading will probably prove to be a difficult challenge as pretty much every single team has, apart from Colchester, where we absolutely smashed them 5-1 in the previous episode. And I think I feel like we've got the system right now. Like I said, since we've changed the formation, we've played 3. Uh, so we've played 4-1-3. Uh, well, in Tremblay. The reason why I'm playing Tremblay as well is he has a status, so I think it's important that we get game time under his belt. Turner's just a 
an absolute god and he can play the CDM role, that's his actual natural position, but he hasn't played that natural position for three years nearly now, and his fourth se going into our fourth season, he actually well. comes into that position that he's most natural at. Got a bit of work to get out to that right-hand side, it's Ladyfield, oh, that's a great ball, Smith's one of one with Cassidy, oh, great save by Cassidy with his right leg. Naka then goes forward, tricks, advantage played, Van Leven, Wilters, stabs it through, Naka for 1-0, oh, good save by Manon. And it's a corner kick for Cambridge. Great goalkeeping by Manone. Corner kick, Naka swings it in. Manone's come out for it, headed away. Uh, Davis, is, is, no, sorry, it's Teddy. Finds White. White's going to strike it from distance. And it goes just wide of the post. Worth an effort. Confidence oozing through his veins at the moment is White. Don't blame him for trying to take that shot on. He took Wooters' head off along the process. There's a free kick then for Rennie in a dangerous position. And it goes. Trembles in there to head away. Good defending by him. It's important he has a good game for us, shows what he can do. Bennett's got in again and taken out his opponent. Here's Swift, short, Cassidy has to make sure, and he tips it behind for a corner kick. Turn up towards Wouters, Wouters will play it to Van Leven, Van Leven to White, White going forward here, White will look to Jink inside towards Van Leven. Great penalty, penalty, yes, we've got another penalty, get in. Great turn by Van Leven then. And the Reading defender did actually hack him down, I'm not sure, it didn't trip him, I think it was a slight trip in there. The Reading player can feel that he's a little bit hard done by. But yeah, there's a trip. Clatters into Van Leuven and we've got a penalty kick. So Naka is going to take this penalty kick then up his steps with his left foot. Oh, it's delightful. Smashed into the top corner. A great penalty kick by, Van, uh, by Naka. And he's our penalty king. He's got his second goal of the season now. And well, it's, we've done okay in the game. Reading had a little bit of a spell just before that attack. And what a penalty that is. Again, you wouldn't save that with two goalkeepers. Smashed into the top corner with his left boot. Boom! Pick that one out. Where would a look? I can't like turning this position. White's going forward here. White then having a run at the heart of the Reading defenders. Oh, he's hit the bar. It was a lovely strike. And Manoni flaps at it and takes out Van Leven in the process and Reading clear their lines. And the referee blows the half-time whistle. We have got a slight lead at the break. So far, so good. We've been excellent again today. We've had George spells of possession. This kid here, Naka, just gets better and better. Here's Van Leven, laid off to Toby T. Toby Turner, back towards Van Leven. Van Leven's touch is decent into the penalty area. He goes, has his shot, good save by the keeper. Toby Turner laid out wide left towards to Davis. Davis in towards Naka. Naka will play it to Bennett. No, Bennett around the corner looking for Wooters inside the area. First time strike, tried to catch the keeper out. And it's a decent save by the Reading man. As we're starting to get control of this game more as Turner bombs forward. Out wide left towards Van Leven. Can he cut inside Van Leven? Here is Wooters. Laid off towards Bennett. First time shot is it. Good save again by the Reading goalkeeper. Just a matter of time before we double our lead from Reading now as they try to get themselves back in the game. He's headed down. Hernandez comes onto it. Trembler's gone to close him down. Swift looks across. Reading are in the area here. Don't be checked after your challenges, boys. It's laid back towards Clements. He's offside. Yes, great defending, lads. Brilliant. So we've got three adding minutes then. Davis will win the header. And we just need to run this clock down now and just do not force the ball. As we're looking to go forward again, Narka. Up towards Wooters. Really Wooters in one touch to set himself. Oh, beautiful. Looking absolutely. Yes. Getting Wooters, my son. And it's nothing more than what we deserve. One touch to set himself. And then he finesses it and it loops over the goalkeeper. Finds a top corner. And we definitely deserve our three points. And that is now confirmed as we're well into deep well, into really injury time. Let's take a look at the replay. Well, Good ball in the field there to him. Great touch with his left. And then a finish with his right. Oh, what a goal, lad. Great finish. And we've secured all three points. Well, what a display from Cambridge United again in the Championship. We have picked up another three points then. Five games played, four wins. And our form is starting to improve. It took us a while to get used to things in the life in the Championship. This, we changed the system and it's worked an absolute treat. It's finished. Ready nil. Cambridge United 2. So the next game of the episode then we're at home and we host Aston Villa. The same starting eleven that beat Reading convincingly. Turn it in the CDM role is terrific. Tremblay had a solid game. He's going to have to be on point against Aston Villa because I got a feeling these t this Villa team will be a dark horse in the championship. I'm not sure where they are in the league, but we're going to try and push on and get another three points. Let's go. 
Aston Villa are in opposition today as we're looking to go forward straight away from the first attack. Van Leeuwen will hold it up, Turner. We've got such a good understanding of players now. I think this is our strongest 11 so far. Van Leeuwen with a lovely turn. He's looked to shoot here. What a great strike and a good save by the Villa keeper. And we've started this game on the front foot. And White's done well. And White will look to swing it in. In goes Benitez. Oh, what a save. Oh, great reactions by the Aston Villa goalkeeper. And we should be 1-0 up. Naka back towards Turner. Out wide left towards Davies. He's attacking and White's got in behind here, White inside the area. Oh, lovely ball, Wooters, 1-0, great football, great goal. And it's Wooters that has got the goal yet again. Captain Wooters has scored. And we are 1-0 up and it's nothing more than what we deserve. Fantastic football yet again from this team. This team are growing in confidence, you can feel it. It's everything they're doing so right. They're defending well now, we're attacking with purpose. And we're creating chances and we're also finishing our chances. Wooters on his left boot. It's 1-0. Corner kick to Aston Villa then. In it goes. Turner will head away. Great header. Van Leeuwen will hold on to it. Wouters have peeled off him and he finds him. Wooters then he has got a lot of work to do here. He's up against Luke Ayling. Wooters then twisting Turner. Which way is he going to go? Is he going to get on his right foot? Long shot. Wooters. Oh. And it's gone wider than Mark. Do you know what? I'm going to have a dig here, lads. Sod it. It's Narka, I might have hit that too hard. Narka steps up, it's headed away, it was a shocking effort. Two added minutes, let's see this out till half time. Turner laid off, Bennett looking to shoot. Oh, and the keeper tips it over. And then next look a bit weird. Good effort by Bennett, we've won ourselves a corner just before half time. Well, there goes a the half time whistle, a fantastic performance, attackingly and defensively by us lads, we've done extremely well. We've got the lead. It's 1 0 thanks to Captain Wooters. Wooters up to feed Bennett. This is looking convincing for Cambridge. Bennett going to get to the byline. He's going to swing it in towards Van Leeuwen. Oh, he's headed away. And that was a chance. Villa is starting to pass the ball around well. Here's a Codger. Oh, he's done well. Codger's inside the area. Codger to equalise. He has done. Ah, oh, it's not the start of the second half. It was a pacey play by Villa. They've come out of the second half, the first attack of the game of the second half, and they're back on level terms. And Codger, dangerous, dangerous man, Trem he's full Trembley. And it's a chance, and Cassidy flapped, and it went into the back of the net. And the nets have been broken by the looks of things from Wooters' efforts in that first half. And Codger, it breaks them even more. It's 1 1 in towards Van Leeuwen. Van Leeuwen wants to dink it over to White. What a lovely ball, White here. White composed. Yes, we're back on. We're back in front. Thanks to White. Get in, lads. That's the response you want, isn't it? Yes, lads. Great ball by Van Leeuwen. And it's that man yet again, White, with his third goal of the season. And Aston Villa have been pegged back straight away. A great, tidy finish. Controlled finish into the back of the net. Great ball by Van Leeuwen over the top of Ayling. And that's a nice finish by White into the back of the net. We're back in front, it's 2-1. But Cornet will get it back. And the cross comes in. Morello, got some work to do at the back post. Well done, lad. Freire looking to cut inside up towards Van Leeuwen. Van Leeuwen led off to Aiden Carter. Aiden Carter on his right foot. Straight to the keeper. Made the goalkeeper work. And it won't go behind for a corner. It's crossed back in. He can't pick that up. The keeper. What the fuck, man? That's the back pass. Up to Conor Hurahan. That laid out wide right towards Luke Ayling. Ailing down the right hand side for Villa. Oh, Davis has intercepted corner. It's got him behind here. Ball played in Hurahan shot. And that's an effort. And Hurahan missed it. And the referee has blown the full time whistle. We have picked up another three points. We've beaten Aston Villa by two goals to one. Thanks to Wooters. And who got that second goal? It was White, wasn't it? I can't forget. White got the goal. Codger got one back for Aston Villa. But we take away three points. It's finished Cambridge United 2. Aston Vanilla 1. Final game of the episode then, we take on Barnsley away from home. The starting 11 has stayed the same. I think this is our best starting 11 for now uh, in terms of performance from the players that we've seen in the Championship so far. And it's working really, really well. We've done extremely well so far. Let's not get carried away, shall we? Let's go and play Barnsley. Here. here come Barnsley down the right hand side, it's pretty much straight away, laid back. Hedges inside the penalty area, he goes, does he? He has a shot on his left foot, took a deflection and finds the back of the net. It's normally us that scores. Turner and Zeddy look very annoyed at that, and I will be as well. Not the start that we had in mind, and let's not end the episode with a defeat, boys, like we did in the last episode. Barnsley have taken an early lead in the third minute. I think it took a deflection from the angle. It did look like it took a deflection. Let's just have a look. No, it didn't. It went through Turner, through Trembley, through Cassidy. 
and it went into the back of the net and it's a nice cute finishes that nearly took Trembley's head off in the process and Barnsley strike first 1-0 and Lerman, lovely stuff by him, keeping the ball close. Turner in towards Narka, up towards Wooters. Oh, Wooters, oh, that's beautiful. Bennett will get onto it, and he can't quite connect with his shot. Keep that quick tempo play up. Here is Wooters, does really well, gets a bit of space. Wooters, oh! Woohoo! He broke the net in the last, episode, last game. Outside of the boot, how close is this from going in? Oh, look how close that is. Oh, Wilters, mate. You just get better and better, son. If that had gone in. Learning towards Bird. Yes, Narka. Great great challenge. And Wilters has found Van Leven. Van Leven won a moment the goalkeeper then. Has he got a chance to equalise? Oh, it's a good save. It's the post and it's turned behind by Pinnock. Oh, unbelievable scenes here. And Van Leven should have scored. It should have gone across the keeper. The keeper did get a strong hand to it. He did come back off the post. And the Barnsley player nearly turned it into his own net. A corner though. Narka's going to take it. Trembley's in there. Oh, he's cleared off the line. Narka again then. Let's go. Wooters in there. Oh, it's off the line again. Oh, no. Don't even tell me it's going to be one of those games. Turner up towards Morello. In towards Bennett. Bennett up towards Narka. Narka then up towards Davis. Davis played inside to White. White with a back heel. Tries to find Wooters and Barnsley will clear. Played through. Oh, advantage played by the ref, another finesse shot, and it whistles past that far post and goes behind for a goal kick. A better option there, but he wins it back, Narka, Wooters, in towards Van Leeuwen. Van Leeuwen's waiting for runners, Wooters, oh, he's behind Narka, but he might get a chance to cross it here, he has done it to the near post, Wooters comes in, Narka's got the, the clearance, now Bennett, a lot of pressure by us now in this game, up towards Van Leeuwen, turns his mark well, lines up the shots, good effort, and it's a good save by Davis. Now here is White. White feeds it through to Turner. Turner helps it on towards Wooters. Wooters in full swing here. Narka's made a run ahead of him. Here he is, Narka. Oh, the defender stopped him from getting his shot away. Well, there goes the half-time whistle. Barnsley don't deserve their lead. They've got that first opening goal. They've just sat back, and we have no spaces between Barnsley's defence and midfield to work into. Brian Hedges is their best player with the country mile. He's running the show for Barnsley. And at the break, it's his narrow lead, it's 1-0. Wall well, up towards Wooters, Wooters dinks it over, looking for the runner, Bennett, that's a great ball. Bennett, four, penalty! Oh my lord, how's he not given that? Bennett's just been shoved in the back. Corner kick to Barnsley then, it's in, well, it's going to go in, in here post, it's up towards Wooters. Wooters, surely fouled again. Referee, man, how many times have to go through the back? Well, in by Van Leeuwen, Bennett's to his right. Narka dinks it over, looking for the runner, Bennett. Bennett will he get in front of this man, he will do, he's got the ball. Bennett will look to swing it in, it's a dangerous one, and White! Oh, what a save by the keeper. And the attack's not over yet, Van Leeuwen tries to get there. What a great save by the keeper. White nearly getting in to score his goal. I think that might have been his fourth of the season if that went in. Well in, Teddy. The high pressure, high tempo play from us now is working well. Up towards Van Leeuwen. Van Leeuwen back towards Wooters laid off. Here's Narka back towards Wooters. Lovely. Oh, and Davis is there to make the save again. 20 minutes or so remain. Carter on as a substitute. Looks for White who powers forward. White's done well here. White's found Wooters. Wooters here to equalise. Yeah, he's getting. Oh, that's, that. Just, that's what we deserve, finally. And it's Captain Wooters that has done it. Getting, my friends. Wooters, oh wow, what a player, and great player by White as well, he came onto that ball with a bit of pace, a bit of presence, and he's seen Wooters to his left hand side, laid on the plate, one touch to set himself, and bang, through the goalkeeper, into the back of the net, and there's still time to push on and get a winner, we deserve that, we've been the better team, up towards Carter, Carter on the turn, Carter's done well, Carter's done extremely well, Carter, oh, it's a great strike, and it's a good save by Davis. I thought that was going to be the goal that put us in front for the first time in this game. Great play by Carter. Well done, mate. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Trembley got work to do. You got work to do, Trembley. You got work to do, mate. Well done, lad. Great play. Great defending. Wilters then laid through towards Pons. Pons getting into the penalty area. Pons will put it in the box. Carter, the back post. Oh, what a save by Davis. He's been the man of the match. He's been outstanding as Davis, the keeper. Wooters goes in well to win the ball, but the referee does blow the full-time whistle. Oh, how have we not picked up three points from that game? Davis, what some what goalkeeping by him. Wow. We, we, how we won that, lads, I never know. We picked up a point on our travels. It's, it's enough, isn't it? It's a point. It's not a defeat. It's finished 1-1.
So after a entertaining episode, three games in here, we've picked up seven points. We're uh, six, six in the league, which is surprisingly. Uh, we're in the playoffs. Good bit of run, good bit of form that we've come into. I think we've only lost one out of our last seven, so that is pretty decent. With five wins and a draw on the road as well, that's that. That is I can't ask for anything better from the lads. Um, we're doing extremely well. We picked up five wins, drawn three, lost three. Uh, we've got a goal difference back in the positives now by six. We're on eighteen points. So if we'd have beaten uh, Barnes, which we should have done, we'd have been on twenty points. So that would have put us up to. Th- Fourth in the table, that's how tight it is. Aston Villa in third, who we beat by two goals to one, remember. A great performance by the lads there. We did extremely well in that game. So thank you very much for watching, boys. If you have enjoyed this episode, then please give the video a like, and I will catch you on another video. And goodbye.